If you've arm wrestled recently, it was probably to settle a drunken dispute in the back of a bar somewhere. But if you consider that sports really are just pitting one person's physical prowess against another, it doesn't get much more essential than arm wrestling. And so of course, people do it competitively. And we're here with one of those people, Patrick Baffa of Bayside Queens, who is fresh off the World Arm Wrestling League finals in Vegas. And he's gonna show us a little bit about how you arm wrestle well, other than being really big and strong. This is your arm wrestling table. First of all, explain to us like, if you were at an arm wrestling match, how would it get started? So the refs will say, okay guys or girls, palm, palm to palm, they're gonna make sure that your wrists are straight and they're gonna make sure that you're somewhat squared off. Close your thumbs, close your hands, go. And then it's, and then it's a hit, okay? Gotcha. You see, I'm covering my thumb, some people go below, above, from this point comes all the technicalities involved. So it's this, it's this motion. Well, I'm happy that you did that because it is not this motion at all. This is how you get hurt, and this is how you lose. If you are stopping me and I'm applying pressure, and then for some reason, a lot of people, they just, they think that this is gonna help them, that they start pushing up against their own bone and they start separating their shoulder from their hand and they're coming down this way and they're looking away, this humerus can snap. And I've seen it happen. And it's not a pretty sight and it's not a pretty sound because it's loud, Ooh. okay? One of the very important things in arm wrestling is that the top of the wrist and the shoulder has to be lined up whether you're so losing. So we go this way or, or we go this you're winning. way. Okay. Gotcha. And you can kind of move your whole body around. Like yes, you it's can a body shift movement. shift your weight. Depending on how they look and what types of bone length I see will determine my attack plan. A lot of times somebody with a very long forearm, they have a lot of leverage. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll low grip them, okay? And I'll actually just try to pull them down in a hook, okay? Yeah. Now if I see somebody with a shorter forearm, a lot of times these guys, they're a lot more stocky. Mm -hmm. They have larger muscles, larger biceps. And just by looking at them, I'm like, I may not want to go in a hook with this person. Once you're in a hook, it's very strength-based. Okay, whereas a top roll is more technique-based. Is that what your strategy is, top rolling? I, I have a very good top roll, right-handed. So if I was trying to beat someone who's bigger and stronger than me, I wouldn't want to hook them, I would want to top roll them. You would want to top roll them, and to win a quick match in a bar, yeah. a top roll is very efficient. Okay, so right. teach me how to top roll you. A top roll is basically, you want to turn this up and you want to post these knuckles vertically. You want to get as high as you possibly can. Okay. It's about opening up the fingers and overcoming the wrist. Okay, that even if you're super powerful here, it's kind of like defanging the snake. It's an upwards rotation, and this way. It's like I'm putting you in my left pocket. I would go like... Right, okay. okay. Did I do that but, right? But, but you did this. You want this to be this way. Because if I'm like this, okay, and I'm beating you, you could bring me back, right. okay? So, right. That's good, that's okay. good. Cool, let's go get some people to do a little arm wrestling. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what would you uh, say? What percentage are you? Uh, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll tell you. Yes. I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's probably eight <laughs> percent. So, like, what what percentage are you trying now? Uh, this would probably be maybe about twenty. <laughs> so, right. Okay. Nice. All right. <laughs> what percentage are you at? Uh, about thirty. Oh, Nick. <laughs> you and him are about the same, believe it or not. Oh. Yeah, you two to arm wrestle after this. Yeah, let's see. Close your thumbs, close your hands, go. See, I told you it was going to be a good match. Okay? All right. I'm going to call this. Yeah. You feel you're a little winded, right? Yeah. That was. So now I want you to imagine people that are like <laughs> yes. four times as strong as you. All the energy and the sugar and that's involved in that explosion. An arm wrestling match that's good for me lasts 0.5 seconds. 